In this mini tutorial, I want to show you how to submit a file to the Dropbox. The course that you're looking at right now is not our current course, but our current course is laid out exactly the same way. So you can get to the Dropbox from a variety of different places. I have it linked out in each weekly module. Um, there will be links in the calendar. But the way I'm going to get in is through the navigation bar. And this right here, right across the top, is called the navigation bar. If you go to Assessments, and then go to Dropbox, it will take you to all the files. And so you would choose the folder where you want to upload the file. In this particular example, I'm going to use the Introductory Outline Dropbox link. And you would click on that. One of the nice features about the Dropbox is that you, I have it set up so that you will be able to see the rubric. And so if you are a little unsure, if you've done everything correctly, you could go to that Dropbox folder and you can look through the rubric that will be used to grade your submission. And so once you've done that, you can scroll down, and you'll get to this button here that says Add a File. You would want to click that, and then it will give you places where you can look for the file that you want to upload. In this case, I have it saved on a flash drive, so I'm going to be using my computer. I just click the Upload button, and then I could go to that flash drive, I can find the file that I want to upload for this submission. Double click that, and you'll see that it's, once you see that it's loaded there, then you would click this blue Add button. And you can now see that there is a file there. If you want to leave any comment for me, you can do that, but it's not required that you do that. I'm actually not going to do that right now. And once you hit Submit, then that will be submitted to the Dropbox. Anytime you see a little blue, an aqua blue button in D2L, you want to make sure that you go ahead and click that. And one of the nice things is that when you submit to the Dropbox, it will send a confirmation email to you so that um, in the unlikely event that there's a problem, I've never had a problem, but if there was, you would at least have that email as a receipt. So click the Done button, and um, you can see right here, I have mine in a student view, that you have made one submission to the introductory outline Dropbox. And that is how you submit a file to the Dropbox in D2L.